Hi tech lovers and welcome to the first episode in my Apple budget buy series. The great thing about buying affordable Apple tech to resell as a profit, which I do on my shop, is I come across a lot of devices that I never owned when they were first released. Today we're going to look at the MacBook Pro Unibody Edition. <laughs> It came out in 2008 to 2012, and then from 2012 to 15, they added the Retina display. I have got myself hold of a uh, 2015 edition, it's 13 inch, 256 gigs of storage, and 16 gig of RAM. It also has an Intel i5 2.7 gigahertz processor. It's just arrived. Now, one of the reasons I managed to get such a good deal uh, is it was an auction. Um, I'm going to release videos on how to master eBay um, auctions to get good prices uh, very shortly. Uh, there was a couple of listing mistakes, as you can see from the listing here. It says 265 gigs of storage. Also, it wasn't done at a peak time, so when the... Um, listing ended uh, there wasn't a lot of interest it also says notebook now this is not classed as a notebook so anyway it says it's in very good condition with very few um minor wear and tear so let's have a look it's certainly well packaged okay now one of the things that drawed me to it and it's very hard in this day and age it has the box and all paperwork it also came with a free laptop sleeve which is always a bonus and I can bundle that into the cell. Wow, look at that. Okay, box is in very good condition for its age. Remember, this is going on nine years old now. Now, the thing I will be checking out is to see um, what the battery life is like. That is the thing with all devices. Of course, the battery does degrade over time. So once I get this set up, we'll have a look at this. On initial inspection, the lid is looking great. Look at that Apple logo. They still light up. Uh, let's have a look at the bottom. See, I'm not too fussed on the on the condition of the bottom, Alf, and you look at it, but actually all, all four rubble seals are there, all the screws are there. A couple of main, faint scratches, so nothing too bad. I'm going to open it in a second. Original power cable and instructions. It's like opening it for the first time when it was first released. Wow, okay, so super happy with the box and the condition so far. Now, the thing with these screens is there was a lamination issue. Um, so that made the, the coating, it was, was prone to, to coming off and just look dreadful. Now there is guides on how to remove that lamination um, and restore it. However, there was no mention of that in this ad. So I'm hoping there's nothing like that here. So let's have a look. Okay, first impressions. There's no fading on any of the keys to do with a bit of a clean I don't I think there might be slight lamination but the thing is you don't really notice it until you turn it on so let me just have a quick look at the screen I don't think there's any lamination issue at all it just needs a good clean yeah so i'm going to get it cleaned up i'm going to boot it up and we'll go from there and once it's loaded let's see how it does Okay, so I fully tested the device, I've updated the software, I've charged the batteries. 
if you are going to resell your product that's my pet peeve make it fully charged that will make anybody that opens it very happy it's all charged ready to go also software update it this device does run mac os monterey i've just updated it to 12.7.3 it was on 12.7 point two point one so they have done software updates but you know they still apples do still kind of support this mac os system uh, with any major bug fixes or security uh, updates uh, not as much as the the latest mac os now as a machine in 2024 um so nine years after its release this is still very usable on eBay, you should be able to pick something like this up. Buy it now price, depending on the um, storage capacity and the RAM, for around about 200 to um, 300 pounds. Um, for an auction, probably 10% less than that. So the, the seller that I got this from, where they went wrong, was um you know they called it a notebook they put the uh, capacity of the hard drive wrong uh, and they could have got more for it and they should have really done it by it now and they put very good condition i'm going to class this as excellent there's minimal wear and tear on it there's a couple marks here um the major bit i would say is right here um but again in my listing of this when i resell it uh, i will point that out but actually you don't it is noticeable, but I wouldn't say it's it's major. Now the screen is excellent. Um, there is there is no lamination issue. Once I cleaned it, it was absolutely fine. The setup process was nice and quick. Um, and for the person I'm selling it to, that should be even quicker because they don't have to do a software update. So the good thing about macOS Monterey was um, the um, the next two macOSs after that. So we're on Son Sonoma now kind of came from mac os monterey so this was the last major update to the host system um you're still going to get all most of the features of the new um stuff in in sonoma now you can't compare this to the apple, apple silicon macbooks they blow everything out of the water for speed but for somebody maybe as a first laptop maybe a student this is a solid device for the average consumer to browse the internet you've got apple arcade on there all the apps will work um, there's not a lot that this machine won't do for its budget price so i'm super happy with this purchase and i know i am going to make a profit on it um, i will of course be completely honest with my listing but as planned i got it for less than 200 pounds i should be able to sell it for around about 250 to 270 and make a tidy profit anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video please like uh, this video and subscribe to me for all my future unboxings and uh, of course this is the start of the apple budget series of course you can follow me on instagram and threads at tech hub Wilts uk i'll see you next time